Okay, I'm going to make this video here. Uh, this is something that happened actually on Wednesday, um, May 15th, 2024. I had went to Glenhead, uh, and uh, they were doing shuttle buses on the... Uh, we're doing shuttle buses on the, uh, this is just the tracks here at Glenhead. Uh, they were doing shuttle buses um, uh, on the Oyster Bay line on uh, Wednesday and uh, in between Mineola and Oyster Bay. And there were, uh, you know, red carpet coach. There were a number of private uh, coach bus lines or whatever, you know. And going, I took it from Mineola up to Glenhead in the afternoon around, uh, around noon. I took the uh, Bus that left um, Mineola, I think, 11.57 or something like that. And I wanted to go to the Glenhead Library for a little bit. Um, and then um, and then I was going to get the bus back at 2.47. So let's go to the station here. All right, so here's the station right here. Now, going, the bus dropped me off over here. And um, going back, I wasn't sure if it was going to come on this side or this side. There were no signs or anything. So, luckily, there was a very friendly employee on the other side who um, was trying to, she was trying to contact them and tell us and ask what side of the station that the bus was going to come on. Um, but what wound up happening was the bus never came. And uh, as you'll see here, uh, you'll see in this clip, well, I'm here in Glenhead, me and this other passenger here are stranded because the shuttle bus hasn't showed up yet. Uh, we're supposed to be one at 247. They're doing shuttle bus work on the Long Island Railroad. Uh, we have a, a Long Island Railroad worker that is behind me that's been very nice. Uh, they are trying to help us out, trying to figure out where the shuttle bus is because it was supposed to show up and it hasn't showed up at all. It's now been... 10 minutes and it hasn't showed up and there's one more shuttle bus uh, before the train service starts and this is going to screw up my plans for the day now. I'm standing out here luckily it's just light rain but uh, yeah they just left us out here stranded um, uh, you know this is what happens when you don't have Long Island bus and this is another message to the Long Island Railroad and the MTA particularly you have a fleet of lots and lots of buses in the city sitting idle you should send them out here and do this work this is absolute, the way you treat us here on Long Island, then you have the nerve to have congestion pricing fees, and you can't send your own coach buses out here to help people out on the Long Island Railroad, instead providing these other companies, which, which, which we have no way of communicating with at all whatsoever. It's absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. This is what it is. They just leave us stranded out here. They don't care. Jana Lieber, how would you like to be standing out here? Yeah. How would you like to be standing out here, huh? Send your free, you have a fleet of buses in the city. You should send them out and do the shuttle work. No ifs, ands, or buts, Jano. We're tired of excuses. So, yeah, it was me and one other person uh, who the bus never came. And, uh, you know, pretty much stranded there. Um, now, this woman, this employee, uh, who was very, very friendly, went out of our way. This is what I mean about MTA employees that go out of their way for customers. So I don't know if it was her personal car or the vehicle that she had, uh, if they give her a car. But she drove us to Mineola. That's right, she drove us to Mineola. Because uh, she was heading in that way anyway. And, you know, I don't know this woman's name, but thank you so much. Um, she did the right thing. Uh, and why did this happen? Why, you may ask, did this happen? And, well, why are we having so many problems now? Well, because the MTA doesn't use their own buses anymore. Getting shuttle buses for the Long Island Railroad was never a problem back when we had Long Island bus. Never a problem. All right? We always had shuttle buses. And the drivers rarely got lost. It was organized. You could reach people. Now you can't reach anyone. Because there's no inter... You're hiring these private companies where you can't even get a hold of the, of the drivers. Right when when Long Island Bus was doing this, we never had a problem. Never ever had the kind of issues that we're having now with getting not only shuttle buses for planned work, but emergencies when the trains have to be shut down for an emergency. They just leave people stranded now. 
That didn't happen when we had Long Island bus. So the obvious solution here to this problem, and I'll say it and I said it again, and you know, I read in an article a couple of days ago that, you know, nice bus carries much less than MTA Long Island bus, and I know I just did a video about MTA corruption. I know, I know, but the MTA was a much better place back when Long Island bus was around. Now the state is so corrupt and the MTA is interested in serving fewer people, and they've lost sight of their regional mission, which is to serve the entire downstate area. So, yes, we need a new MTA board that serves the people and not Wall Street, but we also need the return of MTA Long Island bus, um, an MTA regional bus. This is the solution that this state needs right now, but there's no support because all the private companies that are making money, well, they are greasing the wheels of the politicians, and they want to keep that deal going uh, instead of having the MTA providing busing, the way it should be, the way it used to be, and the way we need to go back to. So this, is, this video is just more proof of why MTA Long Island bus needs to come back. And again, I'm never going to support nice bus. I think nice bus is a mistake. And I think the only solution, there's no way nice is ever going to be able to, hand, to properly run public transportation. You don't have private companies running public transportation, especially in high ridership areas, all right? And um, especially multinational private companies like Transdev uh, that don't really have a local interest at all. And NICE does not do shuttle work. They do not do shuttle work. They have no interest in doing shuttle work. We never had this problem. And we always had plenty of, look at all the buses there, all right, that we had, all right? And this picture was taken out in Riverhead. Oh, the good old days when, 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 when we had a Long Island bus. It was supposed to be Long Island buses. It was supposed to be regional bus. And yes, it was supposed to take over Suffolk County Transit, too. That was all supposed to happen. And it came to a grinding halt when Cuomo and Mangano came along and derailed everything. So what you see is just another reason why Long Island bus needs to come back, and I'm never going to shut up, up about it, so just deal with it, all you nice bus lovers out there. I don't love nice bus. We need MTA Long Island bus back, period.